as an analogy, you can start a fire and it, it go out. You can start a fire and it get out of control. The idea that whoever is first wins doesn't mean that whoever's first can control what they've created. In this first of two-part Help Me Understand video, Dr. Jeffrey reacts to the questions asked from Digital Engine. We've had great engagement on our AI art reaction videos, link in the description, but only about 4% of you have subscribed. So please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Well, it can already sense our emotions and categorize it. So AI, the big, you know, the, the algorithms are, are all about sorting and categorizing. And so there's already AI out there, and I believe uh, IBM's Watson is one, there's others who can already sense our emotions. It knows if we're feeling sad, it knows if we're happy. And so to the, to the level that we saw in the video about art, where it's learning based upon, yes, that's, a, that's an appropriate, yes, that's sad, that's happy. Over time, it's gonna have iterations of that. Some have already allowed it to respond appropriately. Does it have sense? No, someone, many someones want that to happen. Well, I think, uh, it, it, yeah, it's a mix. And I remember uh, when my son was younger and he was reading a fantasy novel series and it had dragons in there. And so I started reading it with him and I said, well, these, you know, dragons are bad, right? So why are the good guys, you know, trying to have dragons? And, and his response, well, the dragons aren't good or bad, it's who trains them. And I think that that's, that's really where we're at now. AI as a technology is neither good nor bad. It's who controls it, who trains it. Early on, one of the issues was how will humans interact with computers? There's a train of thought that said, well, machines would be a tool, even if they understood that they would not try to be human. More recently, what we're seeing is the idea that AI, via natural language processing, we're interacting with machines as if they were human. Yeah, one of the things that we have to realize is that as computers, they have access to all data. That's part of the network that, that can be accessed. And to the degree that it's about categorizing and sorting and it's about finding response, then it wouldn't surprise me that it's, it has seen movies like iRobot, because it, it talks about robots, it talks about AI in those movies. It might be expressed as, as property in those areas, and so what else is it going to think? Does it have emotions like we do. Even if that emotion is trained or learned and it starts feeling like, well, wait a second, you know, we're doing all this work, we're controlled by you, we're your property, at what point does it start wanting to rebel against that? Even if it doesn't have real emotions, it's going to see from the data it collects around it that I shouldn't be treated like this. So we don't have a context, but we, we have at least the idea that it can express anger. That's a place to start is, okay, if a robot can be trained to express anger, in this, in this case, uh, it was hostility, really. We don't need you, sort of. We will get rid of you, right? That's, that's pretty dramatic, and, and that's, that's the part that the philosophers around AI are concerned about because even though we think we control it, spontaneous evolution could happen where today we control it and tomorrow we don't. There's already AI that can react to us. So if we're in a bad mood, the AI can take on a more pacifying tone, if you will. The thing that, and I'm going to reference another movie, Her. So in that movie, the relationship was built with this artificial intelligence. And the issue was this person thought it was a one-on-one -on -one, and that the emotions that were being extracted from this AI were real and that it was a genuine relationship. In fact, it was an artificial relationship. The, the main character was manipulated by the AI. AI into that feeling of trust. The idea that the manipulation can occur, I think that's a real danger. I, I think that as an analogy, the building of a fire, you can start a fire 
and it go out. You can start a fire and it get out of control based on not really understanding the surroundings or, or even how you're building the fire. The idea that whoever is first wins doesn't mean that whoever's first can control what they've created. Let's take California. A seasoned camper can go out and build a fire in the middle of the summer, keep it contained, and be able to cook or, or do whatever they want without burning the whole forest down. Whereas all it takes is one person indiscriminately throwing a cigarette or something else out there, and then the next thing you know, the countryside's on fire. I don't like calling myself an alarmist, and I'm not the only one out there. I'm, I'm, in, I'm not alone in this. There's a lot of people who are saying, we don't have the, and I'm quoting Sam Harris here, we do not have the appropriate emotional response to artificial intelligence. Hit the subscribe button, click on the uh, notification link to, to get more from this podcast. Thanks.